Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the time period of September 14th to September 20th, 2023. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Leo, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right. Let's see your energy, spirit, angels, and guys. Please show me the energy of Leo in regards to love for this time period, September 14th to September 20th, 2023. Thank you, spirit. What is Leo's energy in regards to love, please? Here we go. All right. First card we have for you, Leo, is... The Nine of Wands, so let me just show you, Nine of Wands in your energy, the Judgment card, the Eight of Swords, the Tower, the Nine of Cups, well, wow. the Fool, let me see at the bottom of the deck. We have the Three of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Moon. Oh Lord, this, um, this energy is a little bit difficult. It's a little bit scattered. All right, Nine of Wands, Judgment, Eight of Swords. Tower, Nine of Cups, the Fool. Three of Cups. Knight of Swords, the Moon. There's definitely an energy of, of um, someone having a hard time letting go, right, with the Moon and the tower, tower card. Someone is having a hard time with the Moon card. This is all about attachments, letting go of something that finished, something that ended with the Tower card. There's a struggle to let it go. There's still an attachment especially here with the nine of cups nine of cups in the moon this is kind of like an energy of i want what i want you know it might it might not be good for me it might be toxic but you know that's what i want it makes me happy even if it's toxic you know I'm not sure whose energy is here, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out who's who. Uh, but I do feel like there is someone who, oh, I see. I do feel like there is someone who is um, acting unbothered here. Or just presenting themselves as unbothered. But there is an energy of someone still wanting to continue their relationship, even if it ended with a judgment card. Again, Nine of Wands, someone hasn't released this, this relationship. Yeah, this is kind of like wearing a blindfold to, to the facts, wearing a blindfold to reality. Someone doesn't want to see the truth. Hmm. So I think I'm going to go to the other side just so that I can get um, a full picture here. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know whose energy is this, this is. So let me just go to the other side. All right. Let's see. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of the person um, Leo is connecting to and dealing with in love for this time period, September 14th to September 20th, 2023. Um, what is the energy of Leo's person 
towards Leo? What is Leo's person's energy towards Leo? Let's get one shuffle. All right, here we go. We have the two of wands in their energy towards you. The three of wands could be an Aries, could be, yeah, Aries. We have the judgment card on this side as well. Could be a Scorpio. We have seven of pentacles. We have the strength card. That's your card, Leo. And we also have the hermit card. We also have wheel of fortune at the bottom. Two of wands, three of wands, judgment, seven of pentacles, strength card, hermit. Wheel of fortune to the five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. And we have a king of cups, three of swords. King of Wands, Nine of Swords. Someone's in this energy of like, please don't go, please don't leave me, you know, please don't end things. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do now? Who am I gonna be with? Where am I gonna go? Hmm. You know, Leo, I feel like some of you are in this energy of, well, you should have thought about that before. Nine of Pentacles and the Strength card here. You are showing up on this side. And I feel like that's what you're kind of projecting here. You should have thought about that before. Hmm. It's, you're not making it your problem. That's what it is. So it's this person that wants to like um, continue the relationship with you. They they feel they feel like what am I gonna do now? If if we're not together, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go? Who am I gonna be with? And I feel like you're in this energy of it's not my problem. I'm not I'm not going to make that my problem. That's your problem. You should have thought about that. I was good to you, right? Seven of Pentacles and the Strength card. I was really good to you. I, I invested myself in you. I, I opened up my heart to you. I trusted you. Or like, I gave you a chance. I gave you an opportunity. And it looks like this person let you down with the Five of Pentacles. They didn't value a good thing when they had it. They didn't value you when they had you. Yeah, that's what's happening here. They didn't value you when they had you. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm ready to clarify. I think we got the gist of it here. So your person is over here, and this is you. All right, let's clarify. Let's see your person's energy. Why is this person's energy towards Leo, the Nine of Wands? Oh, they're carrying the judgment card here. They're, they definitely want a second chance with you. But I don't feel like they're making any moves yet. They're holding back. Tell me about the Nine of Wands to the Judgment card in this person's energy towards Leo spirit, please. Nine of Wands to the Judgment card. The Knight of Swords, there it is, twice. Two times the Knight of Swords. So yeah, I feel like this person definitely wants to stop you, you know? They want to stop you from moving on. They want to stop you from giving up on them and, and leaving them behind. This is kind of like an energy of, Leo, you can't do this to me. You know, you can't do this to me. You can't walk away from me. That's not fair. I don't know why they're saying that's not fair, but they're saying that's not fair. I don't feel like there is any unfairness here. Not that I notice here. You do have the seven of pentacles here. I don't necessarily 
I'm not really seeing unfairness. I just feel like this person is a little bit desperate, you know? So, you know, they, they're just kind of saying anything. Because hmm. I do feel like this person is in an energy of like, Leo, that's not fair. Like you're judging me um, harshly or like you're criticizing me. You're, you're assuming things. You know, you're wrong. Like whatever you're thinking about me, it's wrong. Like give me a chance or let me explain myself or, you know. Or like, you did this to me too. Like, yeah, yeah, I did this to you, Leo, but you also did this to me, you know? So, you know, we're even, Leo. So let's, let's just keep being together. Like, I'm not, I'm not the bad guy here. Or the bad, yeah, the bad guy. Yeah, this person feels it's, it's unfair the way, the way you're cutting them off. You know, the way you're cutting them off. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what do I want to look at? I, want, I keep want to look. I want to still look at that Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords to the Three of Cups in this person's energy towards Leo. The Knight of Swords to the Three of Cups in this person's energy towards Leo. The hangman, hmm. okay. hangman to the moon. There's a three of cups here, which can represent a third party situation. So if this is an issue if, for some of you, if, if this is what's the issue between the two of you, this person wants to tell you that there is no third party or that if there is a third party, they don't really wanna be with them, they wanna be with you. Um, hmm. yeah that's what I'm getting yeah I feel like that's what they want to tell you if they're if that's if that's your situation um, they want to justify themselves in some way in regards to a third party or they want to excuse themselves or justify themselves I feel like for some of you, they're telling you there is no third party or I wasn't, I wasn't involved with anyone or if they were, I don't really care about that person. That, that was meaningless. I want to be with you, Leo. You know, it's that type of energy. Hmm. What's the, um, yeah, I feel like for some of you, there was a question here. The moon can represent um, a question when 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 something is being questioned, something is being uh, something is unclear, and with the three of cups, um, that's a third party situation. So for some of you, there was a lack of clarity in regards to a third party situation, and I do feel like this person desires to clarify. They want to clarify because they don't want you to leave them for that reason, you know? They don't want you to walk away from them and, and abandon this relationship for that reason of, of a third party. Because according to them, that third party is not, is not a, an issue or it's not an issue anymore. But if it's not a third party, if it's something else, then the same thing. I feel like this person wants to tell you that, you know, this is not an issue anymore, Leo. Like, we don't, we don't need to break up for this reason. Like, we can fix this. Okay. Anything else about that Knight of Swords spirit? And their energy towards Leo. The death card. 
Okay. So yeah, this person definitely wants to like change, change whatever has been going on between you and this person. They want to change things. It's like they want to go back to um, when things were good. They want to go back to to being good with you, you know. Hmm. All right, let me look at you real quick. What's the Seven of Pentacles to the Strength card connected to Leo Spirit? Seven of Pentacles to the Strength card connected to Leo. The Star. The Star? What do you mean, the Star? Oh, I see. I like that. That's an interesting energy. Hold on, let me just confirm. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles connected to Leo. Leo's energy. Thank you, Spirit. The Justice card. Wow, your energy is really good. So I definitely feel like with the star card, this is basically you um, just very connected to yourself, you know, just very in tune with yourself. Um, I feel like this is also you kind of listening to your intuition and connecting to your intuition. You feel good about the decisions that you've made. You feel like you're doing the right thing. And it's almost like you're at peace, you know, even though the situation might be unfortunate, but there's like a peace, an energy of peace connected to you. Yeah, especially with the justice card, you see the fairness energy. Um, that's what I was saying. I don't feel like there was anything unfair. I feel like you tried your best with this person. You gave them a chance. You were flexible or you were patient. Um, you know, you were good to them and you don't have regrets. So, I mean, maybe you, you know, you might regret, you know, not not cutting things off sooner you know but i do feel like you you feel like you've learned a lesson here with the justice card you feel like you've learned a lesson and you feel like you've grown and you feel like there's nothing but good things coming up for you in the future wheel of fortune that's the future Wheel of Fortune is all about the future and the star is all about, you know, positive things, positive blessings. Um, so you feel like there's, you feel like there's a lot of good things that are coming up for you in the future. You're not carrying a guilty conscience at all. You, you did your best and, and you know it. And you're at peace with that with that knowledge, you know? You didn't lie to this person, you didn't deceive this person, you didn't play games with this person. And that's why you're at peace with the star card, you're at peace. Some of you might feel like it's just a matter of time for this person to receive their karma with the Justice card and the Wheel of Fortune, it's just a matter of time for them to get hit with, with all the karma that they deserve, you know? Um, I feel like that's your viewpoint here, point of view. Um, tell me more about the Nine of Wands connected to this person, Spirit, Nine of Wands. The Queen of Wands. 
Oh, this person's like, they're starting to feel the pressure here. That's for sure. They're starting to feel the pressure. I feel like they, they're noticing you becoming more empowered in your energy. And that's not favorable for them. So I do see them kind of panicking a little bit, you know, feeling a little bit um, pressured to, to do something and to say something to stop you, you know, to stop you from completely moving forward with your life. Because they are noticing your, your energy is shifting and it's shifting away from them and they don't like it. They don't want that, you know? Okay. All right, uh, Leo, I'm going to continue now in the extended reading and I am going to take a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you, especially for this time period, September 14th to September 20th. And then I'll take a look at the outcome, what's going to end up happening between you and this person moving forward. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.